Parents and coaches, this one tip you're about to hear can single-handedly transform your kid from nervous and timid to a consistent powerhouse in competition. I'll show you proof and tell you the tip in a moment, but to get all five confidence tips in this series, click the link below and sign into my list for the full series. You are going to learn the secret thoughts of young athletes that they don't tell their parents. All from my experience in working with hundreds of them one-on-one -on -one worldwide. So here's tip number one. Organize everything you do for your kid around skill acquisition and efforts. Now, every coach knows that athletes perform better when they improve their skills, right? And so they set up regular practices with drills, exercises, scrimmages, the whole nine yards. But the most common problem, adults who work with young kids, what they report to me with their young athlete is that they don't perform as well in the game as they do in practice. They lose their confidence in the games. Now, why is that? Well, it's simply because in practice, coaches and parents are praising things like hustle and determination, discipline, and anything that they see in the athlete that shows an improvement in their physical skills, right? All great stuff. But then what happens in competition? The coaches and parents then only praise good performances and they minimize skills and effort. And so what happens is the kid starts focusing on good performances and having a good performance because that's what the adults are all focused on. They do this instead of just executing the skills and showing hustle like they do in practice. So what this does is it causes the kid to worry and stress and fear a poor performance. That causes nervousness, tension, tightness, timid play, and other problems, which makes it harder to execute the skills and be focused on what they're doing out there. Now, here's an example of what to do. Joni is a 13-year-old soccer player, but this story applies to any sport with her parents in the stands and her whole team watching and, and holding their breath at the end of the game, she misses a final penalty kick on goal that would have tied the game and instead the team loses. So she looks around at her teammates and coach and, and everybody's got their heads down and in their hands and disappointment is everywhere, right? She walks off the field in tears and she approaches her parents who are both beaming with smiles and, and they give her the biggest hug, that a, the biggest that a proud parent could give her. And she's all confused and she says, why are you both so smiling and so happy? We lost and it was all my fault. And her dad tells her, Honey, we are so proud of you beyond words because of the courage you showed by volunteering to be the last kicker on the team. This game means nothing, but the fearlessness we saw in you when you went up there for that kick was the most proud I have ever been in my entire life about anything. You were absolutely awesome out there. And everyone will forget about this game in a short period, but I want you to remember, Joni, that I want you to remember this forever, that you have this huge courage inside of you, and it's gonna take you far in soccer in life. You just used it here, and you'll use this courage again and again, and we are so proud of you for that. That's what you wanna do. Praise effort, and skills, that's a mental skill, courage. Do you see the power in this for confidence building? Make sure you use it. And if you want the other four very powerful tips like this, one of which will give you a stronger connection to your kid for life, then hit the link below, 
sign in on the next page and I'll shoot it to you in email. I'm Craig Sibyl, your mental toughness trainer. Let's do this.